You'll want to make plans to head down south to Malesso this weekend as the Guputsumoru Crab Festival returns. If you've never tried catching crabs by hand on grass, here's Mayor Ernest Chargaloff's pro tips on how not to get pinched. Because you have to be, you know, have good reflex because the crab's first instinct is to protect yourself from being caught. So you have to know how to, where to approach it from. So you have to approach it from behind, you know, and, and, and once you get from behind and you get the, the shell, you go behind the shell. You know, avoid getting bit, and like if you don't uh, approach it, you're gonna see some crap flying in the air and a flying crab <laughs> out of reflex. And while Sunday afternoon has traditionally been the star of the show with the crab hunt, there's fun around every inch of the fairgrounds on all three days. On Saturday and Sunday we have the tuba drinking for the adults and the the lava contest. I haven't done the uh, husking because I I need to find the greater you know the graders. The tuba drinking and the and the talaga contest has always been the staple next to to the crab release. You know? Also capitalizing on the coastal villages surroundings, there's also fun out on the water. Whether you watch from the pier, wading in shallow water, or on the shore, it's always a breathtaking view. So we also have the canoe uh, paddling race. We've done that every year, you know, whenever we can, because there's an there's an association that they run their own uh, races, and then we have the jet ski as well. Mm -hmm. And if you happen to be a hunter that wants to contribute to the crab count, the community's more than happy to talk. Well, if anybody out there that has land crabs, I buy everything and anything. I, any amount you've got. I mean, you know, I, I'm willing to go broke to promote the event. I mean, you know, you've got crab, I'm willing to buy it off your hands. Nobody's going to come to your house and buy 20 dozen all at once. But the mayor also says there's a vibe to the crab festival that makes it distinctly Melissa. But that's one thing that the South offers is the warmth and hospitality. And they're still there in, in the north, central and northern, but I think the southern villages are the ones that, that uh, run the fiestas, uh, take it to heart.